Hello everyone and welcome back to our continuation of the Augustus map Trajan's Bridge. Sorry for the delay in the upload again, but we are back and we're going to be trying. We're not going to finish it today, but I think we're going to make a lot of progress. So I'm going to go ahead and unpause right away. We want to jump right into this. Actually, I lied. I'm going to repause it again. <laughs> I want to I want to kind of take stock of what we were doing here. So, I if I remember correctly, we just sent a force out uh, to another city that's under attack. We're, we're under no threat of invasion, so that's good. Uh, we have our next block set up here, and we have farms already delivered up here too. So we're ready to move plebs in. And as you can see right now, actually, we our unemployment is only 3%. We have 49 available plebs to work, and we, we definitely need more. We have an available capacity of 71. So we're not doing, like, terribly here, but I do want to get this new block set up uh, fairly soon. So... I think I'm going to focus on that first. And, uh, yeah, this this block over here is pretty sufficient now. I think I'm okay with that. But yeah, let's do this one. So, here we go. Let's get our market going. We're going to have to add more, um... We're going to have to add more farms here soon. But for now, we have a full granary. Uh, so I think it's going to be okay. Alright, we've got our market. Uh, we've got our structures here, which... Did we take off a bridge? Oh, you know what? I think we, um, yeah, we, we killed a bridge here because they kept running this way. That's what happened. All right. That's right. I'm, I'm remembering. Some people say my old age is preventing me from remembering certain things, but I say nay. It's just making me better. Yeah. So if we, I think they actually broke through a space here. Yeah, they did. So I'll go ahead and, uh, and wall this again. <clears throat> and then I'll just grab some more walls where I can. Just so if they end up running this way, they have to go through a million walls, and it's, you know. It's fine by me. Okay. As long as it buys time, that's all we need. Okay, back to work here. So let's unpause. So this these guys should populate now. Let's just make sure. There they go. Alright, perfect. Okay, we're being asked for iron, so let's get that out there. I'm going to go ahead and get just a couple houses for now. It's nothing nothing too major. We'll get a, a few temples as well. Let's go. We'll just auto-cycle them here just so we uh, we know we're good to go. Three, four, five. There we go. Got room for three by three here if we need it. Um... And, uh, yeah, we're doing really good on money. We've got over 10k, so we're not worried about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and set up a library here as well. Where do I want to put this, this sucker? I think I'll put it up here. There we go. And then we'll do the, we'll do the arena in a, in a bit. <clears throat> okay, so that'll let these people, uh, get settled. We'll build actually two more houses here. I think that's fine. There we go. We'll have more than enough food there. And we are storing the iron now, which is good. And I think we were going to do something with weapons. Maybe I'm making things... Oh, that's right. We uh, we added some weapons here, so we are storing some weapons. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep getting that iron. Uh, one of our big projects last time was adding a bunch of gold mines, and that's what we're really trying to sell. So if we go to our trade routes, uh, we have them all open now, and you can see that we can we can really sell a lot of gold. Yeah, 16 here, 25 over here, uh, 15 over here. I don't think these two take gold. I'm pretty sure they don't, yeah. So that's going to be, I mean, just gold, like just that gold already is probably enough to fund our whole game. <laughs> but we're selling some other things too, so... Uh, we just want to make sure that we always have gold over here to sell. That's the objective. There always needs to be gold stockpiled so when a trader comes in, they've got something to buy. So we're going to add a few more gold mines, but as you can see, we're uh, we're at two plebs here. So we're going to we're going to wait just a little bit. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and get our highways uh, set up here. A few more highways. There we go. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I like this. Let's um. Let's go here. I'm gonna have to have room here for the uh, the arc, right? Let's 
so let's go like this, 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 and this for now, and then we'll we'll worry about the arc in a bit. Okay, but as it is, I think this is actually the last bit of highway I need. We've highwayed up everything else, so we are good to go on the highways. And that feels good. Alright, what else should we do here? Well, we're kind of waiting on plebs, but once we get them, we'll just be adding more, um, more mines. The gold mines. The children yearn for the mines, as my chat always tells me when I'm streaming on Twitch. Which you can, of course, follow if you like at twitch.tv slash author valentine if you're a fan. Or if you're a user of the Twitch platform, you're always welcome. I'm going to get my, uh, I'm going to get this right here, I think. It's undesirable, but remember, I can actually get plazas on this map. And honestly, I don't think we're going to go past um, small casas. We might just do, like, a, a bit of patricians here. And then <clears throat> funnel our, our stuff over there, and that'll be it. But we'll see. I do want a little bit of uh, desirability here, though. So let's get a couple of pawns, just like that. We'll get one right here. And I'll go ahead and get a few more houses here. There we go. And that should be plenty of plebs, right? Yeah, now I have room for 232... Yeah, we're, uh, we're good to go. We just gotta wait for them to move in, so. As you can see, a bunch of them are gonna be hauling their butts on this highway so they can get in here. Feels good. Got my nice cup of coffee here this morning. It's a beautiful day here in Kyoto. Sunny, the past few days have been, like, super windy and rainy, but today is nice and nice and sunny. It's balmy outside. You love to see it. Next week, my wife and I are heading to Okinawa for our 10-year anniversary. But we looked at the weather, weather forecast, and it was all cloudy. I was like, oh, no. You know, some people get really upset at that. You know, they have a, a nice vacation plan, and the weather goes bad. You can't get mad at the weather, especially if you're going to the tropics, you know. I, uh, I lived in Hawaii for four years. I went to the University of Hawaii when I was in my 20s, so I kind of got used to the fact that rain happens a lot <laughs> in the tropics. It's just, it is what it is. People think of it as, like, the sunny all the time paradise, but it's like, no, man, this is, uh... These are the tropics. It rains. It's, that's what it does. Can't get mad. Enjoy it. Ba -ba -ba -bum. 3k plebs. Nice. I'm gonna get a couple of raria here. There we go. And we've got plenty of plebs moving out. Aha! That's what. That's another thing we wanted to do here is we wanted to get our ship bridges. Uh huh. Oh. Can't demolish a bridge with people on it. Apparently, there's a person on there. Okay, ship bridge. There we go. There's no people on that. You liar. Is it counting the birds? Holy shit, the birds are people, I guess. Okay, ship bridge. There we go. <laughs> okay. And now we have our... Our bridge. And... If only the bridge acted as a highway. Like, I think the ship bridge should act as a highway and the low bridge should act as just a regular road. That's probably wishful thinking on my part, but... I think it would be nice. You guys think it would be nice? I think it would be nice. This market is poorly placed, I'm realizing here, because I want to get a house there. So I'm going to switch this to uh, right here. Because I want houses on this area. And then we'll, um, we'll mess with that in a bit. Let's go ahead and add a couple more houses here. No basic education. Okay, this is just waiting for the library to stop by. And we'll uh, we'll add another farm here in a bit. Let's see. Well, maybe we can do it now. Let's do... Uh, your relief force defeated the invasion invading barbarians. Excellent. So we're going to get another... Another whatchamacallit here. A... Uh, a thingamabob, an arc, 
I keep wanting to say an Ark of Titus, but Titus isn't here. Well, he was here. We're in, we're in AD 115, so we are past the reign of Titus. Titus was the, the second of the Flavians, if you're curious. That was Vespasian, Titus, and Domitian. It's a very good, albeit very short-lived, dynasty in Roman history, if you're interested. Let's see, we can get the low bridge there. Yeah, I think this is the spot. And, yeah, patricians here seems pretty good, right? I think it seems alright. Okay. Let's get, um... Okay, get another wheat farm here. So this should make us good to go on farms for a while. I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's gonna be plenty. And we're good on money for sure. We're getting more plebs in. Let's go ahead and add some mines. Love our little gold mines here. Oh, we cannot get one there. Oh, we can't get one there either. Oh, that's a shame. Um, oh, I could get one here. Okay, never mind. There we go. We're going to grab two of them. There they are. We're going to be kind of a little bit minus on unemployment, but that's fine. It'll immediately rectify itself with these guys moving in. And is there anything we're missing here? The year assets have risen, people are immigrating, okay. 349, available space, plans for seven months. We produce much more than we. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. You love to see it. I could add fish uh, over here, you know what I mean? I could add fishing wharves. I might do that over here. We might add some more fish. And then we might uh, deliver that up here to our future patricians. That's that's probably what we're going to do next. Is we're going to have a dedicated fishing over, area over here. And we're just going to hightail it over to the patricians. For our third source of food. Um, Emona. Which one was Emona? I think Emona's this one, right? I don't know. I don't remember the city of Amona. I know Aqualea is like right over here too. For some reason, I I, I associate with this position with Aqualea, but Aqualea is probably like right here, isn't it? Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, okay, they sell us fruit, a hundred fruit a year from Amona. That's a land trader. Do any of the sea trade routes give us fruit or food? They are Sirmium. Okay, Sirmium gives us vegetables, so we can do fruit, fish, and veg. Or sorry, we can do wheat, fish, vegetables. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a land trade route. I just, for some reason, I enjoy the ship trade routes for food. I don't know why. I could get another dock right here. I could have another warehouse just for the food imports. Or, if I wanted to be really, really cool, I could just get fruit and uh, vegetables delivered and then only do wheat up here as the food I'm providing them. But, and we don't have to do that. That's just me. That's just me freestyling on this. Okay. Let's take a look at what else we want to expand over here. <clears throat> We're not selling too much else in this area, which kind of makes me want to add some housing over here. Because I think we, eventually we're going to need it. Our uh, Right now our max capacity is 35, 36. I mean, we only need 6,000 plebs, so honestly that might not be a bad idea. We could just get some houses over here. It can be a small block. And then with the patricians over here, that, that should be more than enough to be honest. Let's go ahead and add a couple more houses here. There we go. One, two, three. I don't think that's blocked, is it? No, okay. So that should be good for there. And I don't mind spamming this out now, because I just want, I want plebs. I want plebs, I want them to get into my city. Hurry it up, boys. Make it snappy. Alright. And while we're getting that done, I'll go ahead and add our patrician block here. Let's get the whole thing set up. And you might look at that and you say, well, there's a mining area over there. And Yeah, that's true. There's a, there's a little marked circle area where we can get uh, gold or iron or whatever. There's some up here. This map has a ridiculous amount of these. I mean, you can see how much gold we already have set up over here, and we haven't even maxed out this area. Like, all this is gold mineable, too. Um, 
you, you don't have to to worry about using just because it can be used for a resource doesn't mean it should be used for a resource you don't need to uh you don't need to harvest every single thing you can from a map you need to have plebs you need to have uh some workers you know uh let's see where's our triumphal arc here it is there we go triumphal arc Let's get rid of some of these guys. And let's get our highway going. Okay. I guess technically this doesn't count because they're going this way, so maybe we should highway here. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's, uh, we, okay, so that completes that side objective, right? Let's look at our objectives again. Uh. Da, da, da. Let's see, I don't think that was it. Did I click on the same one twice? Is there just two of them? Oh, here it is. I should probably click on the one that says additional objectives enhanced. That would be, that would be smart. Okay, bonus objectives, build two triumphal arches by the bridge, one on either side. Objectives, build a ship bridge across the river. Uh, build highway stretching from the map entrance to map exit. Only the bridge, staircases, gatehouses, and triumphal arcs are allowed to create gaps in the highway. You are not allowed to, to wall in wolves. They're on the map for a purpose. Okay, so we got it. Okay, so we've completed, I think, all of our bonus objectives here, so we don't have to worry about anything else. I'm going to get this, uh, this group of javelins up here. So I want to clear out this area here. We want to get these wolves. There's wolves up here. We want to get them out. Okay. So like I was saying, we uh, our bonus objectives are done. So now we just have to complete the actual map objectives. That's That's all there is to do. Alright, let's get the boys up here. There we go. Start throwing those javelins. Right. I like how they're just coming at us one at a time. There we go. One, two more, I think, up here. Oops. Okay, that's all the wolves. I don't think there's any of the south here. That's good. Okay. Turn these guys to the fort. And let's go back to focusing on our attrition block here. Three by threes are going to be more than enough here. Remember, our only goal here is a prosperity of 80, which is really lenient. So, um... We don't need to have, like, 4x4 four four ridiculous palaces or anything like that. Oh, yeah, we lost this here. I forgot about that. Okay, let's uh, rebuild our gatehouse. There we go. Towers, let's get... Uh, let's get some more towers here as well. Okay, back to work. So the way I like to do this, I've done it on the previous map, is I, I mark out the area I want to have my um, my 3x3s first. So in this case, I mean here, it looks like it's okay-ish. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Oops, that was, that's not correct. That's, that's not correct either. It's okay, we're gonna, if we misclick, just get rid of some later, it's fine. Not the biggest deal. Okay, so so far we have room for what is this six? Let's get this road down here, and then let's try to get a couple more. Uh, da -da. gladiator. No. 
I like my goddess statues. There's just something about them. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we can, I mean, we could, we could stop right here, I think. That's fine. Okay, let's get our road completed. This is way more than enough here. Um, I think we have enough room to fit everything we can. Uh, the biggest problem here is going to be entertainment. Because we don't have access to a lot of entertainment structures here. Um, really, we're just relying on the arena and the tavern, which is not enough. So, uh, Hippodrome might be in the works here. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and get our fountains. And let's get our reservoir. Perfect. And let's get our uh, our usual suspects here. I'm gonna get the granary up this way. So we'll get our granary here. Let's roadblock this sucker. Make sure we turn off everything except for market ladies. We're gonna be doing wheat and fish for now. Particularly wheat. And we'll do a little bit of fish. And we'll get a uh, our Engineer, our Prefecture, where are you? I'm just trying to build in spaces that are just one by one for now. Okay, our Barber, our Doctor, can go right up here. Our Bathhouse can be right here. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to get um, Venus for sure, because we're going to need the entertainment. The market can go there. So we'll do Venus. We'll grab our market. And we can get some... Um, we can get some farms here. Go wheat. Wheat, like that. I'll grab an engineer up here. There we go. Okay, we have the we have the very beginnings of a patrician block. Just just the the very start. All right, and what else should we get? What else needs be got? Well, we can do our library and school here. Let's see. We can fit a 3x3 three three here. I don't like having the arena right here, though. Because with the arena... The arena is highly undesirable, so you kind of want to have uh, the ability to build uh, desirability buildings next to it. Oh, you know what, but... Maybe I'm overthinking about it. Because the magic of plazas. Plazas are very strong. Never forget the power of the plaza. Alright, let's go ahead and let the plebs move in. Our uh, future patricians. Romulus and the gang. Yeah, let's get... I'm gonna get one more wheat farm here, at the, I think. Three is probably okay. And I want to start getting fish in here, too. So this is, what, granary number 11? So I'm gonna build my little fishing island here. You guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be great. We're gonna put it... Let's see. Right here. That's a wonderful ship bridge location. I love it. And we're going to get uh, a bunch of wharfs. How, how many can we actually fit here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy moly. Eight? Damn, that's a lot. Okay. So let's go like this. Now, can I fit a granary here? Wouldn't that be something? Oh, is that a rock or is that a... That's a rock. Okay. Okay. No worries. No worries. Can't see it. Okay. We're going to get this road here, and then we're going to roadblock it. We're going to get our engineer's post. We're going to connect this little guy with this guy. 
just like that. I'm going to roadblock this here because I th think... Uh, who, who's covering this? You're not. Oh, you are. Okay. Oh, this is totally fine. Okay. So then we can go cart depot. Cat depot, however you like to say it. And we're going from 6 to 11 with our fish. So we'll do fish, 6 to 11, there we go. And then because we're going to have such a ridiculous amount of fish here, I'm actually going to change this so we have, uh, we're going to do 16 fish and 8 wheat, like that. How about that? I think that's okay. And then once we get, uh, we start importing food here, then we'll, we'll sort that out as well. Alright, let's go ahead and add some more plebs. There we go. There we go, okay. And... These guys should be getting in here. Yep, here comes the future patricians. Let's get our library. Where do I want to get this thing? Library is desirable. So I'll put it right here, I suppose. School is not. That's right, school is never desirable. I was a student once, I know. I'll grab a tavern. Uh, I think I'll put it right here, actually. And for the tavern, we are going to need some wine. And we're going to have to get a, uh, a warehouse for this wine. So, where do I want to put this? I've got a lot of room right here, so I might get the warehouse and company over this way. It's a little bit undesirable. It's a little bit close. So maybe I'll move it down a couple spaces like that. Well, actually, it could go right here. Decrease trading of wheat, increase trading of weapons, okay. Holy shit. Take it easy, map. Well, let's do this. I'm actually going to put the warehouse right here. Okay, so none of this, none of this. And then we're doing... Pottery, furniture, oil, and wine. Eight of each. Alright, starting with pottery, which I think we're selling. Yeah, we're making and selling it right now, so we're going to have to switch that up a little bit. We're going to have to start selling less of it and, well, not too much less, but a little bit less. I'm going to add another pottery barn right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that'll bring us up to seven. Seven's, seven's pretty good. And then we're going to have to start shipping up the pottery to these guys. Also, let's get a uh, gladiator school here. And a lion house here. We'll get our arena... I kind of want to get it here, just because there's a lot of room for desirability stuff, so we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to turn off wine here for a little bit, and then I'm going to add a tiny bit of wine here, and the way I'm going to do this might shock and disgust you, but fear not. We'll get a, um, a vines farm right up here, and we'll highway, not highway, we'll just road this baby up right here. And then I'm gonna get uh, two winemakers. One there. One there. And they'll just deliver up to this uh, warehouse, because they're not connected to anything else. So, okay, so we're producing our own wine, and the wine's gonna fund the tavern, so that's gonna be one entertainment. And that means pottery, furniture, and oil are on the menu next. Furniture I can get right here if I wanted as well. So we could do... I could even do it like right here. So ooh, I could do... Oh, do I want to do it right there? I kind of want to do it up here. Even though it's like taking away some farm real estate. I don't think it's that big of a deal, right? Right? I think it should be okay. 
Oh damn. You guys are going all the way over here. Oh, these baskets are so heavy. I'm taking fresh supplies back. Well, what the fuck are you doing? Get rid of this. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, let's uh I've gotta turn all this shit off. I only want wheat out of here. Nothing else. Okay, there we go. That should help. Okay. And you gotta be careful with market ladies. Market ladies are the enemy. They're the bane of all Caesar 3 players' existence, truly. There is no greater foe than a market lady. Okay. I do want to get my own um my own furniture up here. I have decided. I did leave a tiny piece of grass right here, and that's kind of fortunate. So I could go right here. That's a possibility. We could get a single a single timber yard. Like that. We could road this up. We could do that. We could get a roadblock here. Roadblock here. So no one wanders around. Workshop. Furniture. And a engineer right there. And then these guys will take it up here. Okay, so that takes care of furniture and wine. So furniture and wine are done. And now it's just pottery and oil. Oil is imported from who? Well, we can get olives from Thessalonica, but can we just import oil? There's nothing wrong with importing the olives and making it myself, but okay, we can get oil from Amona. So we can do oil, and that'll be fine. Actually, how much does that cost? The olives cost me 42, the oil cost me 180. So that sounds expensive, and it is, but realistically, I only need a little bit because we're only giving it to these guys, and that's that's it, that's it. There's no, there's no other oil taker here. That's going to interfere with our processes. So, we're going to set this to um, oil. We're going to go down to 8. And we're going to get a, a cart depot here. Oh, cart depot. And we're going to do pottery first, right? So let's do 8, what is it, warehouse 8 to warehouse 11, I think it was. Oh no, warehouse 12. Okay. Car depot, let's see, P -p 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 pottery. 8 to 12. We'll just do it, uh, destination has less than 8. And then we'll do another one for oil, but we have to start importing it. Is there anything we're not exporting right now? No. Okay, we're, we're exporting everything we can. Okay, so we're importing that, and then we'll also import our veggies, I suppose. But for now, let's just get our cart depot, cart depot for oil. And we'll do... Actually, this can be always, that's fine. 8 to 12, because we're not sending it to anyone else, and we're obviously not selling it, we're buying it, so... I think that's good. Let's get another dock here, because we can. I'm gonna road this up. Like this, I'm gonna get a granary. Like that, and this is gonna be... Just for vegetables, I think. That's fine. Let's get an engineer right here. And now we can, once we get veggies in here... We'll just go down to 16, that's fine. Then we can, um... We can start sending those vegetables up to the patricians and they'll have their three sources of food. Alright. <clears throat> To make sure we've gotten everything else we need here. Fill in the gaps with some Lararia. We'll send that wine in just a second. Let's 
Let's get another uh, small pond here. Small pond supremacy. You never go wrong with it. Store that wine. I could start getting houses up here now if I wanted to as well. Uh, that is a, a possibility. But for now, let's just focus on these guys. So, we need to get their pottery, which is coming now. And the furniture, which is also being produced as we speak. There's the oil. Love to see it. More pottery coming in. Okay, I think we're uh, we're looking pretty good. Let's get that... Um, let's get the... Can I fit it here? Oh, no. Okay, I cannot. Let's get a road like this. And then vegetables will be taking... What is this? From 13 to... I forgot what it was. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the only one that can take it. I lied. Okay. 13 to 11. Okay, we should be good to go here now on all of the, uh, all of the relevant goods. I think everything's connected the way it should be. We should have uh, furniture coming in up this way as well, that we're producing. Ba -bum. Send off that wine. We're going to lose this wine here, but that's okay, because we already have wine and fish here. Nice, okay. Yeah, these guys are starting to level up. I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, equestrian statue here, I suppose. Just to, to help with the desirability here, because this, yeah, the arena is is rough. And then we'll, we'll kind of go through things as we get them. That's fine. Okay, here's our first furniture coming out. So that should be that should be sufficient. You really don't need that much furniture production. Let's not forget about these guys. Let's try to make them look better. Make them look prettier. There we go. And you know, we have a a lot coming here with boats, and I'm not sure I like this. It's a little bit inefficient because this this dock is so much better placed. I'm actually kind of surprised this one's waiting here, because this one, this one's open, right? The dockers are taking our goods to the warehouse now. Hmm. Okay, he's just like constantly selling. Uh, whatchamacallit. Selling vegetables. Okay, that's fine. All right, look at these guys. They leveled up really well. I'm going to go ahead and get our academy good to go here. Maybe I'll put it... I don't know. Put it down here, maybe. Let's get our hospital as well. Hospital, again, is not desirable, so you got to be a little bit careful with it. Um, we want to get another god in here, so let's grab... It doesn't really matter. We'll grab Ceres. Put it right there. Yeah, they want temples from a second god, so that was actually really important that we did that. Okay. And we are short on plebs. How, how bad is it, though? Oh, no, it's not bad at all. These guys are just waiting for the educational facilities... Got a little bit of furniture here, and we should have wine coming in again, because we got to sell that wine off. Okay. These guys are waiting for wine. Now, the entertainment is going to be achieved probably by Hippodrome. Or a Grand Temple to Venus, I should say, is probably the, the more obvious thing to do. Can I get stone on this map? I don't think I can. Iron, timber, gold, stone. Oh, I can. Okay, so we can do stone. That's actually incredible. 
because that solves uh, some issues for for making certain buildings. Uh, let's do. I'm going to do a Grand Temple to Venus. I'm going to put this old girl right here, so we still have room to get up to uh, the high ground up here. And let's get our road. How do I want to do this? Do I want to connect this? I guess this makes sense. Um, we're adding a couple things here, like the uh, the architect and so on and so forth. Can I get stone right here, though? Raw materials, stone... I can! Okay, that's uh, that's good. It's not a lot, but it's uh, what was it? one, two... Can I sneak a third in somewhere? Not up here, no. I could do it up here, too, if I wanted to. Okay, so let's do, um... Uh, bu -bu -bu. What do we want to do? A um, warehouse here. Don't allow anyone in here for now. There we go. Let's allow stone. Let's do an architect here. And let's do some work camps. Which I'm going to put where exactly? I'm not sure. Is there three by threes? Uh, we can go here. Work camp, where are you? We'll get rid of this one later, that's fine. Alright, I'm just going to grab a uh, engineer's post right here. And then we're going to uh, roadblock this off here, there we go. Okay, so that'll take care of a little bit of stone. Because I think that's the very first thing we need, yep, 20 stone. And I want to get, well, we're going to need concrete I think as well. We could allow timber here. And then we can switch this up so we can get an engineer up here instead, maybe, or up here. That's fine. Get rid of this guy. Add another timber yard just so we're, we're starting to stock up here. So I'll take care of timber. Clay! is coming in right here, so we'll have to import the clay. Well, we don't really. We can, the, the, whatchamacallits, these guys can just get it from down there directly. I think that's fine. We just have to road it up. And then for, um, for, whatchamacallit, for concrete, we can, we can get concrete right here. But the sand, oh no, the sand. Oh, we can get sand on this map. Oh. And we can actually get some right here, too. Would you look at that? It's amazing. We can even get some right here. We can get sand here. Look at that. Look at that. It's the way it's the way God intended this map. Amazing. All right, we're still um, we're still kind of short on plebs, but I should have a lot moving in, right? Available capacity is five seventy one. Yeah, we're definitely not pleb light. Although a lot of it is coming into here, so I want to put an end to that. Uh, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to add a shit ton of plebs here. There we go. Two, three. Can I get one right here? I can. Nice. So this will add, allow me to add a couple more here as well. Uh, let's get some Loraria. And... Get some small ponds. We could actually put some over here, too. We might do that. We'll see. It'd be nice if we could get houses over here, but... It's not a big deal. Okay. 
We could also get some over here as well. We could replace some of this stuff and build houses instead. Alright, let's take a look at the plebs coming in, though. We got a decent amount coming in. I was about to allow these guys to get their wine, but now I, I kind of second-guessed it because if we if we do, our, uh, <laughs> our unemployment's going to take a, a big dive, won't it? So we uh, we got to be careful about that. Let's see, forum. I think forums are disabled, so we can only get a senate. Which is unfortunate. Because I think I could only fit it if I readjusted a few things. That's okay. We we don't really need the form. We got plenty of money. I say plenty of money. I mean, 16k for me is is pretty poor. I feel like I'm I'm usually in the the six figure range by this point in the game, but that's okay. We are not worried at all. I'm, I was thinking about adding more stone here, but now I'm not sure. Because this is the only time... Well, we are going to need it if we get a Hippodrome, though, so... Uh, let's see. Is this rotable? Okay, this is rotable. But is this stoneable? Let's store this weapons. That's a lot of weapons. We might have to mess with that in a second. Okay, we can get we can get stone up here. For sure. Let's clear this up. Could we get some down here? Uh This is closer, so. Raw material stone. There we go. Yeah, I think this is fine. That'll be four total. I think that's connected. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's put this guy over here. Let's roadblock this baby, and then we should be we should be okay. Probably roadblock this too. Okay. That'll be plenty of stone. We've got plenty of lumber here now too. And then we'll worry about the concrete and sand in a bit. Let's just uh let's let our plebs get in in position here. Okay, how many weapons are we taking here? We're taking eight. So I want to increase that. Go up to 16 here. Just so we have a constant flow of weapons going. In fact, this is going to be sitting outside there, so we're going to have kind of a, a dead space of weapons because of that, but that's okay. How are we doing for time? We're at 40 minutes? Okay. We've got a little bit of, a little bit of time left. Sometimes when I'm recording these, I get nervous that I forgot to press the record button and I've just been talking to myself this whole time. It's like my, I have that happen in my nightmares. But fortunately today, that has not occurred. Alright, now once these guys evolve into patricians, we're probably going to take a hit of a few hundred plebs. So I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to add any more buildings. Like if possible, I just want to... Just want to have enough so I can evolve them and then we don't have to have any gaps in our employment. That's the objective. That's like the, the real goal here. So to facilitate this, we're going to just add a couple more houses here. We just want a nice flow. A good stream of people coming in as quickly as possible. And that should help. How are we doing here? 900 wheat. That should be okay. This this might start running out of wheat. If that happens, then you know what I'll do is I'll just allow them to get fish, and then I'll start... Because we have a, a stupid amount of fish here. Like, this is ridiculous. Uh, let's actually do that. Okay, I'm going to go uh, cart depot. Nice, I can get one right here. 
And we're going to bring fish up to these guys. Just not too much, just a little bit. Just so there's, like, something there all the time. Okay, so from 6 to 10, we're doing some fish. There we go, 6 to 10. Perfect. Oh, this is only 8 months remaining? Holy crap, okay. We, uh... Let's make an adjustment here. Let's do... 16, so we can allow this delivery. I didn't realize what the how short that time frame was. Okay, hopefully we get there in time. 18 of 24, 7 months left. How many weapons factories do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do I really only have 5? Yeah, let's uh, let's fix that up. Uh, let's get some more weapons. Let's go get two more. I think we have enough iron to support that, so we should be okay. Let's be seven weapons. 21 to 24 now. Okay, we're looking a little bit better. i will definitely complete in time. Nice! Okay, and this is the first uh, step in our Temple of Venus is complete, too. Excellent. And that's going to provide the extra entertainment we need here. And then the uh, the wine, we have an importer of wine, so we can just, like I said, just import one wine, and that'll cover our, our wine need as well. So let's see if we can get this to stage two. We can see our little architect working on it. He's working very hard. And let's make sure we're setting this to fish. Boom, there we go. You can see we're actually already full on fish here. It's a bit of a fishy situation, I know. Grab a fountain up here. here we go, grab this. And there we go. Concrete. Alright, let's set this up. So we're going to go sand. Actually. You know, with concrete, they need a water source, and it's much faster if you can get a reservoir somewhere nearby. So I could do, like, a reservoir right here. I could do... a couple, like, a little bit of sand right here, too. And then we can do concrete. I think this is in range. Do three of them right there, and then we can just kill this stuff off when we're done. Well, we might not kill it off because we might build the uh, the hippodrome. We'll see. Yeah, we're almost at our pleb goal already. Almost at five thousand, five thousand to six thousand. That's fantastic. And we still have more coming in from this area. We could get more right here. We could honestly get more right here too, as well, if we wanted. There's uh, there's a lot of solutions to the uh, the current game, just with what we have. I, I could remove a lot of this stuff and get um, get houses over here as well. We're a little light on on wheat here, aren't we? I think we're we're barely self-sufficient here, maybe. Should I add another wheat farm here? Let's see, how's that market? Has this okay? The market is storing a little bit. I mean, we got to keep our eye on this one. Oop, okay, we got to send our weapons out. There we go. Perfect. Weapons have been sent. And now we can sell off our weapons again, which is good. Gods are pissed. That's not good. Which gods are angry? It's Neptune, Mercury, Mars, of course. It's the ones I neglected. Let's go Neptune... Mercury, Mars, there we go. That should even it out. And we're unemployment of 146 now, so... Let's see, how much space do we have? Three, almost 400 in here. And that's these guys haven't even properly evolved. Okay, this is a... Uh, 
This is a, a plaza solution here. There we go. Emperor's happy that we gave him weapons. Perfect. There we go. There we go. 5,000 plebs. And hopefully the gods uh, resolve themselves soon. Let's go ahead and allow wine here now. You know what I don't like here? I don't like that our engineer isn't really... I think I'm going too far is what I'm trying to say. We're going to get another engineer right here just in case. Because I feel like this is a kind of a danger area. There we go. Alright, let's see these guys level up. There we go. Get eight on timber. We're starting to get our concrete. And we have our first patricians. Look at them. They're gonna they're wanting that extra entertainment now, which is to totally understandable. We are quite an entertainment light on this map. We could get a um no, we couldn't. Okay, yeah, we have to we have to do our Venus Temple. So we'll do that, and then we'll do um, we'll probably do the Hippodrome. This feels like a desirability issue for this guy. So let's get a. Big old, big old statue right here. There he is. All right. And look, we had. Uh, okay, we didn't have enough plebs technically, but we had, we had close, th close enough. Minus thirty-five. We got plenty more coming in, so that's fine. Okay. So let's take a look here. We have uh, a total capacity is five thousand eight, so we're only short a thousand plebs. That's fantastic. That's exactly where we want to be. Uh, gods are mostly okay. Venus is charmed. We'll add a, a few more here and there. That'll be fine. And economically, I think we're pretty stable, right? Yeah, our money's still going up. And then once the Grand Temple of Venus is done, these guys are going to level up a bit more and they'll probably get to that 3x3 three three range we want them to be. Because again, we only need to be at 80 prosperity on this map and Villas help immensely. So right now our max prosperity is 46, which seems really low, and it is. Because remember, these guys cap out at 35. But once these guys bulk up to 3x3s, three they're gonna be they're gonna be beefy boys. They're gonna be very, very beefy. The hip hippodrome, uh, we're probably gonna drop over here. I think this is the the area, the only area really to that we can afford to put it. Um, yeah, I don't, there's too many rocks here. Can't go up there. Actually, before I commit too heavily, let's make sure we can actually get the Hippodrome. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, there's a Hippodrome spot right there. So we are, we are dromable. It's a bit ugly. But that's okay. Oh, there's another spot right here. And right here. This is even better. I like that. We can have a drone right here, and then we can do like a, That provides a global bonus, I think. And then we can have the, the chariot maker. I don't know. We, we can have them somewhere up here so they're running around in this area. I think that's fine. Ideally, I would like to have it closer, but... the That is what it is. Really, it's the Grand Temple of Venus that's going to help the most. And we're almost done with all the concrete we need to, which is fantastic. Okay. So I think we're at a good stopping point for the day. We're coming up to about an hour. Yep, we're at 59 minutes right, right now. So let's just review it. We added... Uh, we didn't really do too much economically this time. We added a couple more gold mines. A couple more weapons factories. Most of our efforts were on this block here and then our, our first patricians. I could also just... Another way I could beat this map is I could level up my plebs, like these three blocks, by using furniture and and pottery. And that would, I think, give me enough um, 
enough prosperity, even with, you know, the, the more simple... The more simple uh, small villas. Well, not small villas, but... Like, medium villas or even large villas. So that should be... That should be fine. We don't even have to go up to Palace if we do it that way. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we need to even do that at all. But yeah, that'll take it, I think, as far as we can go for now. So thank you, everyone, for if you watched this far, for watching this far. And make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'll be uploading more soon, so fear not. We will finish this map together. And until next time, you guys have a good rest of your days, evenings, and mornings as they may be. And I'll see you guys next time.